this is in uh, Dominica Center, but I'm here watching the television TV. Like, subscribe, comment, so forth. Viewers and subscribers, welcome back to Eddie Vision TV, the channel where we look at sports differently. I'm your host, Eddie Gona. Now, a little bit of bad news Brentford and Reggae Boy centre back Ethan Pinnock is now injured. Out with an ankle injury. Not good news for Brentford, definitely not. Good news for Jamaica heading into Nations League next month. Now he picked up that ankle injury last weekend playing against Wolves. Brentford won 2-0. Clean sheet for him. He played wonderful. So he picked up that injury in that win over Wolves. But his coach, you know, for obvious reasons, did not mention that injury. You know, they're up against Liverpool this weekend. They didn't want to, you know, let Liverpool be aware. I don't know what's the issue, but that was not reported until the lineup came out this morning. So the lineup came out, you know, I, I'm going to watch the game. So I logged on and noticed no Ethan Pinnock in the squad. Then Brentford put out a statement, you know, he's out injured with that ankle injury. Now, what does this mean for Brentford? What does this mean for Jamaica? Well, for now, the extent of the damage is not yet known. So we're hoping, fingers crossed, that by next weekend, the lease is there, back in the Brentford team and, you know, fully recovered. So this is something we just have to wait and see. We're going to be listening to the Brentford coach to see what's the latest with Pinnock but of course you know Brentford once more have a lot of injuries this season and now Ethan Pinnock has been added to that list but for Jamaica though we definitely need Ethan Pinnock against USA big big game we love to see all our players in that team so as I said earlier you know fingers crossed and we are hoping we are praying that Ethan can make a speedy recovery and we know with we know with tall players you know the ankles the knees you know always the worry you know like in basketball you know a lot of tall players the taller players i should say you know trouble with the knees and the ankles so let's hope let's hope because we definitely need his height we need his presence we need his calm calmness in that usa game you know he's very experienced and he adds a lot in that back line you know but we're not going to get into replacements and all of that you know too early for that but you know just letting you guys know that he's out with an injury and you know we're hoping that is not a long-term injury you know jamaica has to call up players by the 7th of next month so we'd love for jamaica to call up ethan pinnock you know what i mean so you know, we're going to be locked in to the Brentford news to see any developments and I'll let you know. You know, but what are your thoughts in the comment section below? Let me know. Do you think we can manage without Ethan Pinnock? You know what I mean? Do you think, oh, it's not serious enough? He'll bounce back. Let me know in the comment section below. Quick update. Ethan Pinnock out. Alright. I'm Eddie Guna. Thanks for watching. Always remember to like, share, and subscribe. Hi everyone, my name is Tavia Gooden and I am one of the members of TagDat. TagDat is a Jamaican company that was established in 2022 with the vision of bringing Jamaican proverbs to life with imagery. We also do customized shirts, hats, and other items. 
You can find us on Instagram at tagdat22. You can send us a WhatsApp at 876-513-8229. Or you can send us an email at tagdat22 at gmail.com. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to Eddie Vision TV.